Hey, hey, hey guys. Good morning all the way from Jamaica. Um, I'm in this like cabana bed on the beach. Just pan around so you guys can see. Beautiful. And um, unfortunately, I have to leave Jamaica today. Um, St. Louis, I will be in St. Louis, Missouri tonight, Friday night. So I'm headed to St. Louis today. So um, you all know tomorrow, Saturday, um, the 25th, I will be holding my St. Louis, Missouri support group meetup. Come out and meet me. Um, everyone that paid for their tickets, I already sent you the location. Everyone should have it. If you don't, get in touch with me ASAP. Sunday is Kansas City, Missouri. I have also emailed everyone for Kansas City and the exact location and time. If you do not have it, please get in touch with me today. I will resend it to you. The following weekend, uh, October 2nd, is Cleveland, Ohio, and I'll be in New Orleans. Okay? Get your tickets, Cleveland and New Orleans, for the following weekend, October 2nd and 3rd. All right? Um, I had a fabulous time this whole week. I have so many pictures. I went on a boat ride, a party boat. Uh, I climbed Dunn's, Dunn's River Falls. It's a waterfalls over slippery, gigantic rocks. It's like mountain rock climbing. And um, partying yesterday with my friends. Um, we had a great time. I just, um, and I can't eat no more food. I'm stuffed. I think I gained 10 pounds. I'll work it off when I get back to New York. <laughs> but um fabulous always treat yourself okay um for those of you asking me when will i do the next retreat i have something planned uh early next year 2022 february march so stay tuned for that um these trips are very therapeutic honey my skin is glowing and i look well rested and um listen um, also, I'm available for phone consults. I do work in between my vacations and traveling on the road, so I still am taking these calls. So let's get on with the topic. This video is for my ladies. Fellas, listen up on my good empaths because these types of women I'm going to talk about today, I'm sick and tired. I'm fed up. I'm fucking fed up. You know what? <laughs> women of color have this issue um and we can't blame men men are the main reason toxic men no i'm not going to say all men i'm going to say narcissistic men toxic men misogynists that red pill community in the MGTOW, all of them i would say they're 90 percent of the issues we have they do this thing called triangulation they pit women against each other so that we cannot stand in unison as a powerful force to wipe out the abusers. Now, all men are not abusers. I'm not talking about the good guys. God bless the good guys that are empaths that truly love and support women and they can't stand the red pill community and the Kevin Samuels and all that. There's a lot of good guys out here that are not with that misogynistic bullshit. So this video does not apply to them. I'm talking about the abusers, the misogynists, you know, the woman haters, the closeted gay men pretending to be fucking straight, hiding in their relationships like they're straight and they know they really love dick on the low and they hate women. They hate their mamas, but they take, they punish women for the shit they mama did. I'm talking about those men. Those types of men love triangulating women, dividing us, especially in their relationships. They want to see women fighting. There's incredible amounts of incest in their families. They're fucking their relatives, their female relatives. And the female relatives will want to attack you. The whole business of keeping everyone separated, divide and conquer, is a satanic, demonic, puppet master mind game. And ladies, if we don't get hip to this shit, hip to it now, I'm sick of the shit. Don't mind me, the sun is just glazing on my skin and I love sweating, because sweating, y'all ask me how, why my skin's so pretty, because I sweat. If you sweat, it pushes the toxins out of your pores. So I love, I'm always in the sauna, so this natural heat in Jamaica, look what it's doing to my skin. 
this sun feels so good honey i love i'm sweating and i love it i'll take another shower in my hotel room if we are constantly divided ladies these toxic men the kevin samuels the misogynists the coverts they're always going to have one up over us that is the secret why do you think racism was created? If you keep people pitted against each other, if you, the rate, we're all one race, we're the human race. But the government has done a fantastic, phenomenal job of using racism to divide us. It's called triangulation. Racism is not even real. Right, racism was created to triangulate all the races and pit them against each other to deflect from the root of it all, which is narcissism. Peep game, peep game. What these misogynists, these assholes, Red Pill, MGTOW, the Kevin Samuels, the mommy, they hate their mommies. Oh, especially the ones that marry outside of their race because they think their mother, her black skin is ugly. Her black features are ugly. So they deliberately get a woman from another race to spite their mother. Then they pit the mother against their mess mess we're not gonna go there these men are self-hating men who project their self-hatred onto women because they hate their mothers and the women the women in their family are toxic and because the women in their families have trained them to stay loyal to the toxicity these men go out into the world and they project that hatred they have for the women in their family onto us women. This is how misogynists, these misogynistic men are created. But let me get to the root. This video is not about the men, but I had to build the foundation to get to the point of this video. I, I wanna talk about the pick me, pick Misha. Pick Misha. Pick Misha is a urban ghetto slang term for a covert narcissistic bitch closeted lesbian mean girl messy bitch gossiping bitch jealous bitch insecure bitch woman hating ass bitch a misogynistic fucking bitch how you hate women bitch and you got a pussy in between your legs and you up here helping men these types of bitches let me tell you something i'm sick of them because that you know they're another part of this problem of why we as women cannot stay unified. Pick Misha will co-sign the bullshit of a fuck nigga. Pick Misha loves Kevin Samuels. Pick Misha loves the woman beater. I've ran across a couple Pick Mishas who tried to slide up into my support group meetups and they got shut the fuck down. They hid from me the whole time. I have one Pick Misha. And she doesn't know that I know because information falls into my lap. But I, there's one pick Misha that came to my support group meetup and I found out. Well, there's two. I found out about two of them. These are the covert, y'all. They play me for stupid and I already be, I be knowing shit and I just play right along. My poker face, I play right the fuck along. Whole time. Bitch, how you, how is you coming to a support group meetup? where other women who have been abused and are looking for a place of healing and you low key love fucking Kevin Samuels, bitch. You low key support the YouTube, the male YouTubers that are violent towards women. You pick me, you fucking disgusting piece of trash. And you thought you was gonna hide it from me? No, you don't click. We don't tolerate violence against women and children. We don't support men or enable men that promote domestic violence and misogyny against women. You slithered up into my shit. These women will try me, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I don't, I don't put my business out there every day, but the amount of covert narcissists that test me on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in the business world, because I'm also a businesswoman, the coverts come from me left and right. You have no idea. Maybe I'll write a book about it one day. The coverts stay coming from my neck. And I handle it with a lot of grace. 
They're lucky I don't do a smear campaign and release their fucking names. But then I would be getting on their nasty fucking level. They're fucking smuts. I'll talk about the incident, but I'll never give the bitch the shine. I'll never release her name because she ain't worth it. She'll get supply and her ego will uh, uh, blow up because I said her fucking name. Fucking smuts. How do you come to a support group meetup and sit around other women who have been abused, physically assaulted, mistreated, violated by men? And you low-key support Kevin Samuels and other men who have put their hands on women. There are men in this YouTube community that are fake. There are YouTube male content creators who have domestic violence records. And bitches, the covert females, support these men. And they slide. You think you're gonna make it in my support group? You don't think I'm gonna find out, bitch? This is what we call Pick Misha. Pick Misha is the demonic handler. She is the assistant to the abusive man. She's two faced. Let's say there's a beautiful women's empowerment event. Wonderful women, all empaths, beautiful energy, everything's great. One Pick Misha will come up into that beautiful group with her messy fucking ass, pretending to be a fucking empath. Getting close to everybody. Hey, girl, hey. Oh, you went through that? I went through that too. Oh, she playing a role. Bitch is an actor. And the whole time, she's trying to find out everybody's business, personal business. She's dividing everybody up. She's creating new friendships. That's not really friendships. She's, she's love bombing to get close to everybody. Then what she's going to do, she's going to commence to dividing everybody and holding conversations behind everybody's back. And she's going to tell this person one thing. She's going to tell this person another thing. She's going to, she's creating division. It's called triangulation. Messy fucking bitch. And her whole agenda, her whole fucking agenda the whole time is to get close to me and dismantle my agenda of bringing women together to put a stop to these abusive men. Whole time she's a Kevin Samuels supporter. She supports the male YouTubers in this community that put their hands on women. Oh, I catch it all, y'all. I catch it all. There's been no drama at none of my support group meetups because I'm on top of... My discernment is crazy. And it's just the audacity that these bitches try me. So where I, I am going with this, ladies, we, are, we, we have got to start calling out the pick Mishas. The men are going to be who they are. Men are already getting exposed for being narcissists. Social media is, is exploding and exposing this left and right. Now we got to get on Pygmesia. Pygmesia is assisting the abusive men. Pygmesia helps the men keep us divided. Fuck a Pygmesia. Let's kick Pygmesia out. If she wants to be, if she thinks she's a man. She's a closeted lesbian, first of all. And she wants a pair of dick and balls. So let's send her over there. Go be with the men, bitch. Go be with the men, you two-faced whore. You can't pretend to be an empath when your heart and your intentions are not pure, bitch. Satan sent you and I'm going to send you the fuck back. Ladies, let's start calling out Pygmishas and sending them the fuck. Let's kick them out. We will never be unified as long as these bitches are helping the abusive men destroy us and keep us divided. Until then, St. Louis, Missouri, I'll see you tonight. God bless y'all. Thank you, Jamaica SWB.